Hello guys, we meet again. Um, if you watch my latest upload video, <coughs> if you su subscribe on my channel YouTube, you will see I have a uh, create a simple <coughs> um animation for Valentine's Day. The video is like this one. Okay, I think it's enough. And this video will show you how I create the animation with the liter balloon here. Oops, sorry. With the liter balloon moving from bottom to top. And in this Inkscape tutorial, you can create the like you see on my canvas here. You can create the this little heart that look like a balloon for me manually one by one, or you can use an extension called Pattern Long Pad. I use the technique so it will add the same object automatically along the page and this is this video I will show you how to create the the whole animation okay let's just create a new file like this and I will create background The background will have a uh, same size <coughs> with document so remember the width and height of the document here can change to millimeter <coughs> And then <coughs> put it on the center of the page a line like this then I change the color maybe this color or this one or this one and then unlock lock the layer so it won't move or edit accidentally oops sorry oh. and now we will create first um balloon of heart I'm gonna call it because I wanna fill with the red color. I'm gonna call it red one. We will use a bezier tool like this. So I'm just gonna click that we look like a shape of the Heart. Um, I can I have a hard time by click and drag so I'm just gonna use this technique instead and we can To white and get 
object to pet so we can select the all nodes and make it like this now we can edit the it's not gonna join these two nodes Or maybe just delete one. It's it. You can play with the note editor here. You can choose the sharp corner or make it a smooth one, like I'm trying to make here. I'm gonna speed up this process so you won't waste a uh, time to watch this process okay i have the heart shape that i like now and now we will add give some fill color maybe red this red with a white stroke and I want to use the fill setting I want this little heart is uh, with no fill so I use the soap pad create hole in the fill like this so I active this option now I want to create the line, the string of the, but always I'm active the snap option, maybe like this. with no fear object to pet and Maybe delete this knot and drag this one. Okay. I think I like the look of this heart balloon. Just play with the note editor here and next I'm gonna copy this one duplicate I mean duplicate and change the color of the fill maybe this like blue and scale a little bit like make it smaller like this and rotate 
N Okay, now I'm finished and now I'm gonna group and scale them in like this maybe Oh. Arrange this tiny heart one more time. Okay, like that. Group again, and I'm gonna put just, just make sure it's in red one color. We rotate like this, put here deactivate the snap option again, the snap tool. And I'm going to create the pet layer. And I want this Oops, what's going on? Let's do it again. Like that. This is the pet object, so make it. Okay. Now, I want you to click the the heart object and put it on top of the the whole what is it a uh, draw like that. Also, you need to remember to make sure the the heart shape layer is on the top of the other layer the top above of a pet layer like this and now oops, sorry select both select both of the object and go to extension generate from pet and pattern along pet. You can check the live preview here. Now you have the 
um, what is it? multiple heart that follow our pet if, but we have one two three four five six if you happy with uh, make sure it's uh, you check the pattern is vertical also the duplicate the pattern before deformation just repeat it and snake and apply and close now we can ungroup this uh, just uh, make a pet uh, disappear by click on the eye icon here can ungroup also you will see the the heart the red heart will um collect in one as a one object also the string is also uh, as one object and the little blue heart is also in one object you need to make it a uh, broke a uh, Broke them apart. This uh, you can break uh, apart. This now we have a uh, it's of a uh, heart in the uh, string and blue object. Now we can break apart the string like this and the little blue heart. Okay. And can group again each object like this. Um, and you can create another layer maybe red 2 and move select the number 2 heart and move to red 2 can change red 3 another layer 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes and 6 this is red number three. You can move to layer red number three, number four. Move to layer number four, five. To layer number five, and move to layer number six like this. Now, if you want to create another um heart balloon with the different color you also can copy just um turn off the eye icon here you can duplicate and maybe you can create um green green one move to layer green one and I'm gonna put it on the top of the layer like that and ungroup change the color hmm. maybe this one and since the color the little heart to orange maybe yes like that and then we can group again and now we can create another pet Make sure the layer is on the top of the pad. 
click also the pet layer and go to extension dinner from pet pattern along pet like this with preview now we have the green balloon hot balloon and if you like happy with the result you can apply and close repeat again the process that I show you on the red balloon by um, ungroup and then break apart the hard part like this and the little heart then the string with the part and then you can create um five green layer like I'm doing now Then next can create another color to ungroup again, change the color maybe to purple or pink. like this and then the little heart to maybe purple and we can deactivate the green balloon oops can create pink one group again and create pet You also, if you don't like the procession, you can, you know, move, rotate by yourself like this. And <coughs> ping one, this is a ping one. Move to layer pink one. Now you have a uh, to create a se sequence like I have on my animation like you see on my animation you can let's bring them up like that. 
can arrange the position if you like. And next, you have to export the PNG. Like I have this, let's try to export the PNG and click on page and I'm gonna export on desktop so it's easy I'm gonna maybe um, file a one name png save and export again and then you active the number two and then you export again or if you want you can active two layer at the same time like this and we have green and pink like this and you export again so basically you choose uh, which um, um, layer which uh, balloon that will move to the top of the canvas and then you export its PN, uh, png file so it's like a first png will act as a first frame Second PNG will act a second frame, and once you finish, you can go to um, iMovie. Okay, once your iMovie open, you can um, open the media, the PNG file, and move it to the your keyframe here, and you can change the duration of its frame, like I have here. I have a uh, 0.5 second and I can add um, my um, watermark and the uh, music if you want to and just play like this it's only 7 second and then export as a mp4 media file okay I think that's it